okay what happens when we heat up a sample of gas in a fixed volume like shown in the picture so firstly the kinetic energy of the particles will increase so they'll be moving with a higher velocity so that means there's going to be more frequent collisions so more collisions per unit time and also each collision will have a greater change in momentum because the particles are moving faster so both of them will add up to a greater force because it'll be a greater change in momentum and the time between collisions is less so overall this will increase the force and if you increase the force you increase the pressure the pressure law states that for a constant mass of gas at constant volume the pressure exerted by the gas is proportional to its absolute temperature so this can be written in multiple ways like so I'm going to use in this question here a piston containing gas initially at 101 kilopascal is heated, so its temperature increased from 20 degrees to 4 degrees. Uh, determine the uh, new pressure in the piston. So I need to just make sure here that I use Kelvin instead of degrees Celsius. So the first initial pressure, I can use kilopascals if I wanted, it won't make a difference. I'll just get my answers in kilopascals as well. Add 273 to the temperature, so this is pressure of volume that should be a constant new the new pressure which I don't know and the temperature is this much and this gives us for the calculation 0 08 uh, 0, 0 pascals which is higher than what we started off with that makes sense if I put pressure against the absolute temperature in Kelvin uh, I get a straight line through the origin However, if I pl plot pressure against temperature in degrees Celsius, I get a straight line, but it doesn't go to the origin. So how do I use information? Let's say I measure two points here to find what absolute zero actually is. So the absolute zero is going to be the temperature at which the pressure of an ideal gas will become zero. So I'm going to use that information. So I've got two sets of data points here. I'm going to get an equation of the line, and I'm going to use that to find my uh, x-intercept. So the gradient is going to be the change in pressure being very careful with the signs here. If I calculate that I get 396 and then I'm going to use that information to find the y-intercept. So I'll use this first data point. That gives me a C of 108120. Okay, so now I'm going to set y equals 0 to find my x-intercept. And if I solve for this, I get x is equal to minus 273.